so the first job for today uh, there's some metal embedded in the glass of the, the passenger door you probably can't see that from the video the uh, the thing about that is it will will rip rubbers it will stop things sealing they'll rust over time it's just not very nice um, okay, so I'm feeling with my fingers to find out where little bits of metal are and then just rubbing the, gently rubbing the screwdriver over there so as not to scratch the glass but uh, it just helps to lift out any metal particles that are stuck into the glass. I don't know if you can really see what's happening in here, but you can hear it. And obviously rubbing your finger over after you can feel when the, when the metal has gone. So it's, uh, it's worth doing, I think. Okay, so the last time, last time we were here, I was talking about this horrible uh, part for the for the door there, the back door glass runner. I managed to get one, um, so custom and commercial do do them. Um, it's it's a reasonable approximation, I would say, to the original. <laughs> it's uh, it's got slightly more curve in it than the original one, but um, hopefully it'll be it'll be uh, it'll fit nicely, and uh, we'll be able to to get that in. So let's uh, let's give it a go. It's quite malleable. Anyway. So the clips here that it goes into. Can you see that? Yeah, into the side. Mm -hmm. I can't remember which way it goes in. That one's going to be fun. Slots in here and then screws in at the bottom. Into that piece there, look. trying to make a shim to shim the door out slightly because it looks as though it's too much that way so I'm going to try and make a shim to shim it the other way so um, yeah just basically cut out a piece of steel a couple of holes in it stick it behind the bracket Get this piece of front runner, back runners in. Uh, front runner needs to go inside the door. Bolt on. Needs to go on there. And bolt up onto that hole there. And that's miles away.
when they supply the channel it's a bit long I think we had the same issue with the other side didn't we It goes all the way up to the top, does it? It does go all the way up to the top. Yeah. Means it potentially. <laughs> I think we have to pinch it in. It's a bit, a bit of a cow to yeah, get in. Did you slide it in? Did I slide it in? That's a I good seem question. to rem it just ring a bell to me <laughs> from the other door. You might be genius. I might not be. Right, next piece then. Right. I've got this bit to go in. Right, I'm going to come the other way because it's a bit dark. There we go. Same both ways. It begins the furry bit there. I guess the furry bit would be on the inside of the window, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, as you can see, the window's all back out again, um, despite me claiming to have this section of the window in <laughs> last week. Uh, that's brilliant. If you don't have a deluxe trim piece to fit around the window, we have one of these on the other side, so you have to fit it this side. We've bought it. 
um, it's it's not the best fitting piece of trim that I've ever seen it's awkward to fit it needs trimming here in order to get the clips in to fit the felt um, it has to be fitted first because it all latches in and then basically it's held by a number of uh, little a-shaped clips at the bottom which have to go into the outside of the door and are really difficult to line up um, it needs to go on the inside of the runner there so if you want to zoom into that look, inside of the runner yeah and then like i say you have to trim out this section here in order for the clip to fit in so that uh, it won't because there's no hole there basically this piece of aluminium comes all the way to there so i've trimmed that with a dremel uh, with much cursing swearing <laughs> uh, and so now we now need to fit the clips back in so these are the original clips uh, the kit you buy normally comes with clips the clips that the, the kits that you buy normally come with are not as good as the originals and so if you can use your originals you're much better off doing that um, however they do tend to rust over time and they tend obviously once you get them out they tend to snap at this little clip hinge there so that goes in and chances of me doing this first time around slim there we go there, there we go, go. So you, go, you can see how that trim is now being held in by the clip and we've got similar things we've got another two or three up here to line up job doing don't come to me <laughs> we'll need to put the window in again which we've done once today so fingers crossed it goes in okay I wouldn't mind, but I'm 100% sure that the whole line's up. Yeah. useful it's amazing actually the uses we have for that ratchet strap <laughs> it's been really useful on the van hasn't it Okay guys, bit of a gap there again, I'm sorry. Um, so the door is pretty much back together. I've got to put the outside, the outside handle on. 
Um, but I need to clean that up first because it's covered in the old paint. Um, so, order of doing things then, which is particularly important with this door when you're putting it back together. Otherwise, you'll be like I was and having to do things twice. So, uh, first things first. This aluminium trim around the outside of the door, that's the first thing that needs to go on. Okay, so when you've got the, f the window aperture is empty, that is the first thing to go in. Um, as I said before, there are a couple of additional cutouts. I've missed one clip down the bottom here, but I think it'll be okay. Um, but you definitely need that one at the top <clears throat> in order to keep the trim in. So that's the first part to go in. Uh, second part to go in is this piece around here. So I put the rubber into the metal form and then put the uh, glass into the rubber then put that whole section into the door and I used a ratchet strap gently to line up the screw hole at the top so once you've done that um, you can see I've made a bit of a mess down here of this particular piece so I'm going to have to repaint that uh, I'll touch it in with some touch up thankfully it's only matte black so the next job uh, next job is to get the window in the wind in the door so I have to get the window glass in um, so it's made more difficult by the fact you've now got this outer seal in place okay that's part of that aluminium trim around there so that makes that all the more difficult to do but it's important that you get that door glass in because you won't be able to do it later on as we found out again so next step once you've got the glass in is to get this divider part in here Now this is quite difficult to do I've found once the glass is in um, but by taking out that galvanized part there the rear glass runner you can push the glass just far enough that you can then get this piece in okay so once you've got that piece in complete with its felt you can put the felt in slide that down the side of the glass Okay, once you've got that done, um, if you have this galvanised piece in here, you're going to need to take that out, like I've just done, because you need to get the door latch in. Okay, so the door latch won't go in with the rear glass runner in, so that needs to be out. Door latch goes in, then the rear glass runner goes in. Then you can put the felt in around this part of the door frame, okay which clips into those clips need to make sure that you only really do that once they really don't want to come out once you've put them in um next step with the door glass all the way down to the bottom would be to put this in so this is the piece that goes in it has uh, as you can see sorry i should put that down there so that you can see it properly so you see this piece of wire this is what it comes with okay don't use that or don't attempt to use that it's hell's own job to try and get it in with that use the original one so take the original one out of the original rubber they don't rust generally I understand so you can do that um, and put that one into the new rubber that you've got okay then it's a case of bending it fit it in bend it fit it in there's a real technique to that if there's two people there, it's much much easier uh, so that is that piece done so once you've got that done and screwed in place I would leave all of the bolts fairly loose the next thing to do is to put the window in the window regulator and make sure that that goes up and down smoothly okay once you've got that in um, you're pretty much home and dry uh, just the internal door to put on um, you can see there's a little clip down there Okay, that one just slides back over. So you hook it through, slide it over, and uh, you're good to go. This slides in. Um, okay, and so that's what kind of keeps the, the rod from rattling around. Just two 10 mil bolts for that. Once you've done that, it's a case of, uh, in my case, I'm going to put the handle on, and the two mounting bolts for the handle are there. So that's the door pretty much back together we need to get the seal on the door 
so that it'll seal to the door and then put the door panel on and the window winder and job is done um, it's a horrible job this it really is I think uh, if you look on the forums and stuff pretty much everybody agrees it's a it's a horrible job very difficult to do without damaging things so if you are intending to do this good luck I wish you all the best and uh, tune in next time for the next episode of the birdie bus restoration I'm not sure what we're going to do next, so it's going to be a surprise for you, uh, as much as currently it's a surprise for me. So uh, there's our panels, and uh, yeah, good luck. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Certainly drop us a comment, ask questions. Um, put me right where I've gone wrong. Uh, if you think that there's a better order to do this, definitely interested in your thoughts on that, uh, especially if you've done it before. Rage is subsided a little bit now which is good <laughs> good for the blood pressure um need to do some work on the door seal uh, it needs gluing on it's slightly long in some parts and slightly short in others this is just how these things are when you're working on old vws uh, some of the parts that come are better than others i need a new door strap as well for the internal door but uh, it's all good so far um let me just pop you down on the tripod and I'll show you that indeed the door winder does work. The window goes down and the window goes up. Bit of that stuff come It's a little tight at the top, but it's pretty good. I think it'll do for now. So yeah, thanks for coming along for the ride, as I said before, um, and uh, stay tuned for the next instalment of our Bertie the Bus Camper Restoration, where you'll see me get frustrated, swear a lot, although we'll bleep that out, and uh, yeah, have a good time. Thanks very much, bye.